Yes, one of my favorite things to do, and that's to hit calories and eat food. So in today's video, I'm gonna help you so that you can focus on hitting those calories while enjoying every single bite of it. Now, one of the biggest struggles that I find when it comes to working with belly burners, especially in the first couple of weeks where we're in higher calorie zones, is that everybody goes into this like clean eating mode, right? And so they're like eating chicken, they're eating tons of salad, they're eating high fiber foods, and those are all fine and dandy because they're nutritious, they're healthy for you, they taste good, but the problem is healthy food is not as many calories as you think it is. And for those of us that actually track our food, if we put in a six ounce chicken breast, which is about 30 grams of protein, it's under 200 calories, but that's a giant chicken breast, right? And a lot of us, if we eat just the chicken breast, we get full off of that. Never mind making this giant salad. So like 60 grams of spinach, which is like a lot of spinach, is only like 30 calories. And so you just ate 230 calories. Whereas if you go to Starbucks and you have yourself a coffee with two creams and two sugars, you're looking closer to 300 to 400 calories and you could just down that in one gulp. And so when it comes to hitting your calories, more importantly, hitting clean and nutritious but tasty calories, that's what this video is for. So when it comes to high protein snacks, me personally, Neri's done a video, I like to eat the Quest chips. Now when it comes to these Quest chips, I thought they were like loaded in salt because how the heck do you get that much flavor without actually adding a ton of salt? But they're actually not that high in salt and they come in so many different flavors and they're about 19 grams of protein each. Now, when it comes to just snacking on the go, today I was a little bit dizzy after I coached and I was like, okay, hey, well, you know, I did a big fast, my stomach is empty, I need something to put in me. I had one of the Carb Killer Oreo protein bars and man, it was fantastic, right? They're a little bit higher in carbs, they're a little bit higher in fat, but still, I have a big calorie window that I gotta hit at the end of the day, and so for me, just to eat an Oreo tasting protein bar, fantastic. Then, I love having Maria waffles, but more importantly, my kids love eating Maria waffles. They put, you know, like sugar-free syrup on it. We load it with butter because to get any good calories in these kids and having them enjoy it is very difficult. And so my kids each eat two Maria waffles every single morning. And then last but not least, my favorite snack of all time is a Neri's bar. I always have a double scoop of the Limitless Ferrero Rocher protein powder, mix it with one cup of water, and I'll have two Neri's bars. Boom, I just hit some massive amounts of protein and getting some calories in me, tasting good. A lot of them, like a couple of those are all based on whole foods, and it's a good way to get my calories up and get my protein up. The second tip I would tell you is to start comboing your snacks with the protein. Like I said, do the two scoops of protein with a Neri bar, okay? You need to start stacking your proteins. So stacking your proteins is taking those tasty Quest chips, just grilling up or, or frying up some extra lean ground beef, and you add some fat-free Greek yogurt in there, boom, you've got three sources of protein all at once. Now you might be saying, well, RJ, I've only been told that I can only eat so much grams of protein, my body's not gonna digest it. But in the end, I tell you this, trust yourself. If you did this for 28 days straight, and even if you only ate one or two meals a day and you're eating all of your protein in those one or two meals a day, if you stayed in your caloric budget, you combine it with your workouts, your fasting, your water, and your supplements, at the end of the 28 days, I guarantee you're gonna see the results that you're looking for. Now, you can do a 20 hour power fast eat, okay? So what does that mean? If you're under your calories and then you stuffed yourself once a day, as long as you're under your calories, your body is going to take what it needs. So if you've burnt off 2,000 calories and in a four hour window of the 20 hour fast, you only eat 1,500 calories, that means that you're regardless in a 500 caloric deficit. So no matter what, your body's gonna be forced to lose fat and weight because you're still in a caloric deficit. So just eat all of your food at once. It's gonna be tough but you can sit there and you can plow through that no problem. And it's a great way to just, if you don't have the time, get one meal in you, you'll still be in your caloric budget and you'll see, still see your muscles grow and your fat loss. Now the last is that you need to stop eating so healthy. You don't have to eat a salad every, every meal. Yes, it's important for your health and your well-being, but 
even if you're taking your Vita stack every single day, all the nutrients that you need are going to be in that Vita stack. Now, I'm not saying you can just have Vita stack and not eat anything else, but I'm just saying that chicken breast and broccoli with a salad and some, some multi grain, high fiber bread, that's all super filling foods but there's just not enough calories in there that you, at the end of the day, you're always going to be short. Now, it's okay to be short because in my previous video, I talked about fasting hours versus calories, what's more important. And if your goal is to lose weight and fat, and in the end, you just eat those healthy foods and they fill you up and it keeps you in a caloric deficit, then that's fantastic for you if you're looking to drop weight and lose fat. But if you're looking to go onto the other spectrum where you're now you're starting to focus on building muscle, remember, muscle needs calories. So if you ate that and that's all you ate and you're in a caloric deficit of 1,200 calories, guess what's going to happen? You're always just going to lose weight. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to not gain muscle, but the focus based on how much calories you're giving it is going to be focused on losing weight. So there we have it, guys. Just throw out you my best tips on how you can hit your calories have your high protein snacks, throw in the combo snacks with the protein, start stacking your proteins, eat all of your food at once, and then stop eating so clean. It's okay to throw in a Neri's bar, a Maria's waffles, some Quest chips once in a while. Just make it work within your caloric budget. Make sure that you have your eyes on the prize. What is your goal? Is it weight loss, fat loss, or is it muscle building and fat loss, or is it just straight muscle building? Whatever the goal is, that's how you should focus your attention. So if you watch this video to the end, I'd appreciate it if you gave the video a like, make sure that you're subscribed and actually help me to promote this on your Facebook page. Just take the link at the top of your screen or hit share the channel, put it onto your Facebook page and I wanna to continue to help you and help others grow every single day 1%.